good Friday morning. Uh, does everybody know what's happening today? In most areas around you, this is the final day for Toys R Us, so let's head over there. Friends, subscribers, internet strangers, what's up? So today's already been off to one of those weird starts. Um, if you're going to buy a Chrysler product, especially a minivan, may I urge you to think twice. <laughs> so Joni and her sister are off doing whatever, and uh, they wanted to take the red van, which the rules are, it's a nice car, it's a reliable car, it's, it's what a 16 sheet. She gets it whenever I'm in town, so since I've been in town a lot, uh, doesn't bother me. So here I am in the blue van, uh, low wash fluid. It uh, it had not been driven in so long. I don't know, maybe three weeks, maybe a month. When I turned the key over, it went eh, 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 like the battery was draining because it probably has a it's a new battery because that's another story. I'll tell that next. Uh, <laughs> Van started, no problem. I let it run for a few minutes to come up a temperature because you don't want to just jump in a van that has not been run in a month and just you know hammer down like I have a tendency to drive. So I get to the end of the neighborhood, I'm like, there's no airflow in here. But damn, my feet are cold. Yeah, maybe you'll be lucky enough to see it. I don't have closed toe shoes on today. It's for those of you, all of you big uh, toe fans out there. Maybe I'll catch a glimpse of them. Anyway, um, but my feet were freezing. Seems the uh, air conditioner would would only put things out the bottom, out the heat the heat part. It would not put anything out the vents. It would not put anything out the defrost. I turned the back unit on, and it seemed to be running all right. But I didn't get out to go check it. it you could hear it. So uh, <laughs> I had 13 packages or 11, 13, 11, 12 something packages drop off at the post office and I'm like man I hope that's just a function of the low battery and as soon as I started back up thank goodness we have airflow because uh, the heat index here today is going to be 106 so it's probably that means it's probably gonna be mid 90s with the humidity over 80 percent but you get used to it so anyway um, I guess that's part of living uh, part of living down here where it's very inexpensive uh, you deal with the heat so everything's back to normal thank goodness so we're heading to Toys R Us uh, in relative comfort uh, this air conditioner doesn't work 100% great but it's working 100% better than it was coming out on my feet the battery is new and I know that it's new because here's the next story uh, auction that I bought some stuff at the other day Dusty and I had at one point had bought stuff at the same time so he drove my house is on the way so he and Tristan stopped by my place and we're just gonna all ride together over there well uh, this van died on us I think I told this story in a video somewhere way back probably eight months ago <laughs> so we're sitting in the parking lot of the auction uh, pickup area and this blue van will not start it's acting crazy smells like something's burning it won't take a jump and we had to get uh, Joni to come pick us up <laughs> in the red van because why we drove the blue van I don't know and uh, so yeah there's that so I hear about that every now and then but let's go to Toys R Us uh, here comes some footage of what I, what I will find I don't know if it'll be on the GoPro. I don't have the harness with me, but I've got both phones and the and the good camera. So one way or another, <laughs> watch my luck. I'm gonna get up here and the damn thing's already. I'm one of the early closings. But oops, I'll try not to kill this fellow in front of us. Try. I didn't say I wouldn't do it, but I'm gonna try. So here we come. Next up, Weeby Toys. The last day. Thank you. 
might die. Yeah. I got rashes. Yeah, no, that's not five percent. Probably should be. I think this thing's still hooked up. I doubt it. They've been negative. I don't know if y'all be able to see that black hawk up there. This is very interesting. You see a lot of them around here with the army base and then out by the house. Walmart, couldn't pass by Walmart clearance. So, hadn't been to this one in a while. Let's see what's up. <laughs> the clearance sign of nowhere. Da, da, da. Zing. Some stores you can't sell those for $5, but this store got it for $15. I was looking at that coffee maker. It's $25 marked down the last couple days. Uh, so they're trying to sell it on eBay for $50 free shipping. So you paid at least $25 for it. 53 shipping. You can't. It weighs the size on it. You're going to get dimensions. I mean, you're not going to be able to ship that thing for... 16 17 18 20 dollars so why bother to make five dollars and spend 25 <laughs> just an economics lesson there for the economic challenge not that any of you are who are watching the video but you have you have to help me educate the ignorant so here we are in walgreens again and of course they're playing music so we're walking down the outside aisle and i'm talking to you but your lips are moving but we can't hear understand the word you're saying so here's one of the ones that has the end caps on the end. Those dogs are graduation dogs. You can sign on them or whatever. There was nothing on that one. Over here, that blood pressure, the blood glucose thing would be good, but the boxes on the back of it was smashed. Oil of Olay is a brand that sends out ugly notices on, on, uh, on Amazon. I think I eventually checked that price, even if the camera was off. 
There's a few things on the bottom shelf just trying to show you some costumes and stuff. But nothing. If you use your cards at Walgreens every now and then they'll kick you out one of these. Especially if you haven't been there in a while. $25 off 7 points. That's 7 free dollars. And remember always save your points. Because once you get to 40,000 points you get $50 free. Uh, using it any other time uh, you lose the chance to get the extra $10. Well I've made it back home now. Uh, my goal for a Toys R Us was to see if I can find some of the boxes that everybody I see posting online get real cheap. Maybe an air pack, the uh, I forget what they're called machine, but they didn't have those either. My Toys R Us was, as you have seen, was pretty much played out. So there were a few things up front. I did pick up those adapters that I showed. Those are Yamaha adapters uh, for keyboards and they were $3.30, something like that. They have a 200 rank in musical equipment on Amazon, and I think the buy box right now is 1280, 1290, something like that. But I was going to list them for 14.95 and be willing to hold a few minutes while if other people got them at Toys R Us. I weighed them out with such a low rank. Um, I know the category is probably not the fastest selling category, but uh, I have no um, I have no reason not to weigh them out and. So, so I ended up spending a total of, I don't know, 14 on 125, whatever that is. But that's with tax and everything. So, um, stopped by Walgreens on the way home. I uh, didn't film it much because Walgreens has, uh, or maybe I did, I can't remember. Walgreens plays a lot of music, so I'd have to replace the music anyway. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. You know, sometimes it's not a it's not a home run every day, especially dealing with Amazon and retail arbitrage. Some days are much rougher than others. And when you have just limited contact with a couple stores, it's not always going to be a win. But you keep going because the more bad stores you go through, the closer the win is. Hope you guys enjoy seeing the Toys R Us and the last day of an American icon as it uh, closes for good. In this town, I think most places today is the last day. So, uh, Look forward to see you guys tomorrow. We will, Harlan and I will be out yard selling. And uh, y'all can't wait to see what in the hell we pass up that y'all would have bought. People keep telling me, your yard sales are great. I'd make a fortune with stuff you leave behind. <laughs> it happens. Uh, but thanks for the lessons. Thanks for what you show us. And I look forward to your comments on the next one. Did you go to Toys R Us? If so, tell us what you found below. Do the YouTube stuff. Roll Tide.